Hey guys, Hyper Cyber Sonic here, bringing you some more Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. Yeah. Ugh. In the last part, we did, um... Oh, no. We did the classic mode on 9.0. And, uh, well, yeah, that took many attempts. Um, I guess today we'll just go over a few little things that not many people, that can be very overlooked. Like, this games and more. Go into this big games and more section and then it's like vault the vault goes even further into like more screens and then trophies goes even further um but so i guess we'll start with games and more with the vault and talk about masterpieces now masterpieces are a pretty cool thing here um they have several retro games here that you can play and when you play them, you get at the end of the you can play a demo, or you can buy it on the eShop. You can play the demo at the end of the demo if you liked it enough. You can purchase it at the eShop. It's pretty cool, pretty interesting way. Um, some of the games didn't return in the masterpiece masterpiece collection here, like uh, Ocarina of Time was was here. I don't know where that went. Oh well. Um, pardon me, I got a bit of cold. Records is is just you know my record sounds replays albums these are pretty empty at the moment uh, movies these are the movies that led up to here so like the big th uh, e3 announcement the Mega Man the Wii Fit trainer all introductions and then we have the endings where like at the end of the classic mode, we get the endings. Da -da -da -da. That's all. We get those. Um, and then trophies. Tr trophies is a uh, bigger than all these because it splits up into these sections here. Gallery is the classic gallery. It's the classic way of looking at your trophies like this. But then you can uh, go into the horde mode and basically. Look at the look at all the trophies you have at the moment. Quite big, but the whole island's supposed to be filled, and we came and see the whole smash icon there. So there's a lot more trophies in this game. Um, galley horde shop. The shop is pretty interesting. You can buy trophies that you uh, have. Man, la la. Yeah, so I guess I'll just get a few of these trophies here. Fighter fly, interesting. They have these trophies boxed up like amiibos. Interesting. And then there's trophy rush. <laughs> no, I guess I can show this off a bit. Um. So, how Trophy Rush works is basically, you spend money. You have to spend money. And depending on how much money you spend, depends on how much time you get. So, spend six gold for one second, and then so on. A minimum of, of 30 seconds, though. Um, so, how this works here is basically, um, I have to punch these. And I don't want them to fill up to the line here. And I sh and I don't want to stand still. If I stand still, that uh, caution icon will appear. And when that meter at the top left there um, fills up, items fall. Now the longer I stay, now the more boxes I hit, the more the combo points fill up, uh, but unfortunately, I stopped. Oh! Hey! Now, how the there we go? My combo still going. Chain one twenty. Yep. My fever is now happening faster and faster here, so 
and and whatever is touching um, the the items that I hit will most likely um, whatever is touching the uh, items that I hit like these items whatever is touching them usually explodes and they explode and I get those it's a this is also it's very good to get trophies and such if you're looking for them like I got 25 trophies and three uh, custom parts dying will slow you down but if you do it quick enough you can continue the chain like I did Those boxes I do hate though. Bam. Good. 28 trophies, 3 custom parts, and 178 gold. Bam. Dang, dude. And that was a uh, trophy rush for you. Oh. Oh. Okay. I really wasn't going for those, but whatever. Yay. Did good. Yeah. All right. Okay, so that was Trophy Rush, and that's basically the trophy session section. Um, I believe in the album. Oh. Sad face, I don't have an SD card. Um somewhere here you can uh, take pictures I forget where you can do it but whatever um, I don't think I went over custom fighters yet that much so since since I know Sonic has custom parts now I have my the one I brought from 3ds there um so let's go into let's make a new one a fresh new one Okay. We have equipment. We have three slots. We can pick things that we can put put on him. What we put on him will increase one stat but decrease another stat. So it's something to keep in mind. So if I were to do all these fast feet. He's very fast, but he unfortunately is um is very Weak, I should say. So if we test them out, we can... on a battlefield, he, this would be crazy. Oh, also affecting the speed stat. Okay, so that's something I have to realize. Um, affecting the speed stat, like decreasing it, increasing it, also affects air air performance so now everything's positive now if you notice when I was testing Sonic he was all over the place like now he's not that fast and he can't jump that high affecting the speed stat also increases how much he moves around in the air or his air height so let's go on the specials here we have the regular moves that he usually does, and then we have all his other things, other moves that he does. As you can tell, I almost have all of them. I'm missing one in the up special and side special. Now, it changes the special attack that we all know. Homing attack is the regular homing attack. Stomp is basically go straight down. Surprise attack is very, very short, but very quick. Spin dash is basically the regular high speed attach you can charge. The hammer spin dash is what I like. He has a very big arc and when he hits someone on the way down, uh, it smashed them into the ground. But it's not as strong as the spin dash. Spring jump, I don't, I have hammerhead spring jump on the intensity 9 Sonic. So the spring jump, this is basically, you, you go up, spring jump. The, used on the ground, it will leave a spring. Goes very high. Double spring. 
and you can use it twice. The headbutts thing, though, uh, doesn't leave a spring on the ground, which is good in my case, because why would you want to leave a spring? And if you hit someone, you go even higher. Spin charge, regular spin charge, auto spin charge, it does it for you, never used it before. Gravitational is what I have in, on the other Sonic I have. It pulls the foes in and pushes the ones behind, takes more button presses to power up. It's so true. And usually there would be a stat here on the 3DS that would be parts, but there's no smash run, so it's basically useless. Uh, do you want to save with quitting? Nope. Because I don't really want that Sonic. This is the good Sonic. Now, I have items on here that I brought from the 3DS that I can't take off, which is good. You can't edit the fires you received by data transfer. The max gloves, negative 147. That's powerful. Defense, negative 8. That's not bad. And the speed is negative 42. That doesn't really affect Sonic at all. Because he's so fast. So he's really just strong now. Which is good. Um, da -da -do 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 -do. Me fighters. You can customize me's. In here. Uh, these are all ones that I brought up. So we can create one right now if we really want to. I'll create a brawler because I do like the brawlers. Oh. No, 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 no. There we go. H C S. Bam. Yeah, we did. Now the difference me's can do the same thing. But what I like about them is um So this is basically a very regular he's still powerful, but still. Um the Miis, however, all they get all their specials. You don't have to unlock them or anything. They're already there. You get to pick them. So I'm going to do this real quick. What is this? Standard special? Yeah. Onslaught. Piston Punch. And Head On Assault. That's what I like. And then you, you unlock... Very, you unlock many things you can use. Do I have my hockey mask? Oh, no I don't. So first of all, let's check out, uh... There we go. I do like... My motorcycle guy. My biker guy. <laughs> now... The outfits you get depend on who you're using, like a fighter or a gunner or a swordsman. Uh, the headgear, however, you can use it on any of the Mii fighters, so yeah. Ayo! Cool. Oh. Sweet. I'm unlocking these without even trying. Oh, cool. <laughs> I got headgear for creating a me. Coolio. Yeah, this episode is basically um, me just messing around with this. Um, we can... I'm going to set a home run. Now, I'm going to set the, my best right now by doing this. Gandorf? I don't really use him for anything else, but Ready? he's pretty powerful. Go. Oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. Ready? Go. Oh, wait. No. Okay. Ready? I got it. Right here. Go. There we go. Nope. Whoops. Ready? Let's do this. No, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. There we go. 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 No, I messed up. No, 
<laughs> I'm gonna keep doing this, son. Don't worry about this. I can do this. Nope. Ready? Go! Bam. There we go. There we go. There we go. Keep kicking your... Ah, oh, I'm so close. Bam. There we go. Let's do this properly. There we go. And with that, I probably set a record pretty easily. Like that. But I could do better. I can do so much better. But let's quit. Oh well. Ugh. One of these is much better. Oy. Unlock the demo of the classic title Earthbound. Oh, so we can unlock our masterpieces. That's sweet. I didn't know. Um, and I'm just gonna, real quick. Just do a stage builder. Use the gamepad to make your stage that's uniquely to yours. Draw lines on the touch screen and tap or tap points to create straight lines. Oh. The shape you create when the ends of the lines meet will become stationary platforms. Okay. By default, the edge platforms can be grabbed by fighters who can also set specific edges not to be grabbable. Oh, that's mean. Use the button on the bottom left to add items. Okay. You can keep adding platform and items until the gauge fills up. When the gauge is full, you'll have to delete parts of the stage before you can add any more. Okay. Select test before you finish to make your new stage for... To, uh, take your new stage for a spin. Once you saved it, you can select it from custom section of your stage selection screen. Cool. Let's create one real quick. Um. Yeah, we'll do a small one. How many backgrounds we got? Oh, we got lots. I like this one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Oh boy. This should be interesting. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's first of all. Oh, oh, I, I see what I can use. So let's do this real quick. Hold on, I got an idea. Bam. Bam. No, no. Here we go. There. And then if we... Okay. Let's keep drawing. I like to keep drawing. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Let's do this. I did this with my original game. It's, uh, what I'm trying to do is basically make a kind of, here, no, I'm not an artist by any means. There we go.
There we go. Yeah. No. Undo that. So yeah. Now. No! There we go. Magma thick. There we go. A very cruel level indeed. Oh, wait. No, let's not do a very. Let's do. Wait, how big is this? Heh. Yeah. Heh. I thought it was much bigger than what I had. But now, I guess someone will spawn down here and get trapped. <laughs> it's very interesting. It's cruel. Very cruel. It's just... It's a level. I don't care. No. <laughs> Whoever plays this level is so dumb. But guys, if you like this part, remember to like, fair, and subscribe. Ooh. If you like this part, remember to like, fair, and subscribe. Subscribe and join Cyber Squad. Also check out my additional content like League of Legends. No, that's over. Sonic Lost Worlds, Hyrule Warriors, and Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. And I'll see you guys in the next one.